All right, now Samsung has pushed out a very interesting update for one of its applications, uh, that is the Samsung Internet. And this is not the regular Samsung Internet application that you have. This is for Samsung Internet Beta. Now on this Samsung Internet Beta application, Samsung releases some new features, which will eventually land on the regular version as well, which we all use. Now uh, you see, this is the regular one that I have, Samsung Internet application, and I also have Samsung Internet Beta. Now first, let me go to the Galaxy Store and tap on Update Applications. Now here you see we have got Samsung Internet Beta and for this we have got the all new update. Let me tap on this. Now you can see the latest version is 27.0.0.26 and we have got some new features here in the change log and the update date you can see here 2nd August 2024 and the size is about 158.77 MB. So this better be good because the size is pretty huge here. Now let's go to the change log here. Let me read out the first one. It supports internet settings search. Now we have got a new search button for Samsung internet settings, which is pretty cool. Then we have got enhanced protection of internet sync data. End-to-end -end encryption is applied, one UI 6.1 or higher. So any synced data on the internet application will be protected. It will have this end-to-end -end encryption now. Uh, this will be available on one UI 6.1 or higher. Then we have got remove the options to change the scroll bar position and hide the scroll bar. Now these are some changes. I have already updated this application on the S23 Ultra and I have noted something more interesting. Let me tell you guys in a bit. Now let's go ahead and update this application here. Now here for some reason it is showing 119.07 MB update and on this list it is showing about 150 uh, you know, MB of update, 158 MB of update. Uh, anyway, so it is getting installed now. Now let me open this application. Now this is the internet uh, beta. Now for reference, let me also keep the regular internet application that we have got. Let me keep them side by side here so that we can quickly compare what we have got with this all new update. I'm not comparing the internet beta with uh, the previous version of beta. I'm comparing it with the internet beta with the uh, regular uh, Samsung internet, the stable version of Samsung internet on this phone. Now let me open the stable version here. Let me increase the brightness a bit. All right, now let me tap on this menu button and tap on settings here. Now you see on the beta version with this all new update, we get this search button right here on the top right corner. If you wanna search anything within the internet settings, you will be able to search that right here. Let's say you want to search the video assist feature, you can just tap on this and search for video assist. This is gonna save some time because you don't really have to uh, try to find it out on the settings menu. You can directly search now, like we've got the search button on the uh, settings menu on the phone. Now you see video assistant is right here. If you want to search something else, let's say uh, browsing data, you see the browsing assist, uh, personal browsing data, delete browsing data, all this is available whenever you search it. So this is a very good feature that we have got. It's a welcome change indeed. And that's a new feature we have. Now instantly you can notice there is some changes here. You should be able to see the difference in the layout here. You see the corners on these panels here are more curved on the latest version. Now this is the design language we were looking at on some of the leaks of One UI 7.0, especially the uh, quick panel leaks where the tiles were more rounded. You see uh, I'm talking about uh, these corners here. These tiles are more rounded on One UI 7.0 and you can see with this uh, internet uh, beta application, on this internet beta application, on the settings menu, the background for these tabs are more rounded compared to the previous, uh, compared to the stable version of internet here. I'm sure you are able to see this. You can see the gap is a little too much here and the gap is less over here, especially in the corners right here. So it's more rounded and it looks like this is the design language which Samsung is gonna follow for the One UI 7, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but I would have preferred something like this because there is a lot of gap here and there's a lot of wastage of space here. And this looks more elegant, I would say, um, but it looks like this is what we're gonna get on One UI 7.0. Now that's a big change that we are seeing uh, well in advance before the release of One UI 7. Now let me just quickly go to the change log here again. Uh, the third point says remove the options to change the scroll bar position and hide the scroll bar. Let me open the settings over here. Let's find out the scroll bar settings here. We've got web page view and scrolling. Let me tap on this and let me tap on the same settings here as well. Now here you can see we've got this option scroll bar right option here which we are not seeing here on the internet beta now. So now this option has been removed and that will be removed even on the stable version probably in the future or maybe Samsung is testing it on the beta version and then they'll see whether to release that, uh, whether to remove that option here or not. Let me quickly show you the scroll bar here. Now you see I have selected a right now let me just go back. You see this is the web page here and when I scroll down, we've got this scroll bar right here on the right hand side. 
I can just pull it down to go all the way down here and I can go up like this. And the scroll bar position can be changed. I can put it to the left side. Let me do that and show you here. Let's go to settings and tap on web page weaving and uh, let me tap on scroll bar here. I'll put it on the left side now. Now on this page, you can see when I scroll up, the scroll bar is on the left hand side. Now, depending on your preference, you can choose this. And this feature has now been removed from the internet beta application for some reason. <laughs> I'm not very sure why Samsung is doing this, but it has been removed. And we also had an option to hide this on the stable version. You see, we have got an option to hide that as well if you don't want it. But now that option is completely gone. We do not have scroll bar uh, options for on the, on the beta version of internet. But let's see if we have this option by default. I'll open this web page here. And I'll scroll up and down. Now we do not have a scroll bar at all for these web pages. So that is missing now, Samsung has removed it. Now these are some of the changes and enhancements we have got on the Samsung Internet Beta and these could come to the uh, stable version of Samsung Internet very soon. And another important point to note here is the all new UI. Uh, the design of the UI on the Samsung Internet Beta has already been changed and that could be the design language on One UI 7. Now that's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you're interested in this particular wallpaper, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. It's a beautiful wallpaper. Go ahead, download it. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.